Hello, it's Marie. First of all, I would like to introduce you to my son. Oh no, I got lipstick on you. So one idea that I've had ever since I made this curvy stained glass disaster is to make custom bezel charms. If you don't know, bezel charms are these kind of metal charms that you can fill with resin to basically color them in. But so I thought it should be possible to make your own bezel charms, right? I mean, it can't be that hard. And I'm kind of doing it in the same way that I did the curvy disaster is it's by taking some wire and then shaping it in whatever shape you want and then filling it with resin it didn't work well but it worked kind of so i'm gonna show you how to do that with some wire and some resin and that's all you need maybe i'm probably forgetting something but yeah it's easy it's fun it's cool i'm warm let's go so let's get started. So I decided to make some Pokemon shape bezel charms because of the release of Shining Pearl and Shining Diamond, sh shine, no, Shining Diamond, no. Brilliant Pearl, Brilliant Pearl and Shining Diamond, no, am I stupid? So because the games Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl, the remakes of Pearl and Diamond, the, the Pokemon games got released, I decided to make bezel charms of the starters. So Turtwig and Chimchar and Piplup. Oh my god, I got them all right first try. I keep forgetting the English name, so I'm proud of myself. So first thing I'm doing here is just sketching them out so I have a template later on. And yeah, I'm just drawing a basic shape with like some scary as eyes. Look at that uh, Chimchar, that's... no, not Chimchar. Look at that Turtwig, that's... the, the eyes are terrifying. I, I ended up not doing size anyway but yeah i'm just uh, roughly sketching them just to get the general shape and it looks good kind of looks good enough just quick sketches and i'm just doing the faces because that's less work and i like less work it's good so then i have all these wires and all these different colors isn't that neat so i'm picking out the right colors and i'm starting with turtwig starting with the green part of it and just Cutting off a piece of wire that I think is long enough and then using these pliers to just shape it in place. And this part is a bit hard, like I struggled with it, so if you end up doing it, practice makes perfect. As you can see, I didn't get enough practice, so I'm not perfect. But yeah, just have patience and don't be afraid to start over if it doesn't look good. But yeah, I'm just slowly shaping the wire in place, just bending it. And yeah, the pliers really help. You can bend it by hand. But I think that the wires just make it easier. And then when I'm done with the green, I'm grabbing the yellow one. I'm out of breath. <sighs> I'm grabbing the yellow one to continue with the yellow parts. I never plan what I'm gonna say, so I just keep talking like nonstop while I watch my edited videos. But I also forget what's in my videos, so I'm just like talking and I'm like, oh yeah, this happened and now I have to do this and yeah. Anyway, I should plan my videos better. But yeah, I shaped the yellow part and by the end of it a lot of details get lost because i just didn't want to go through the effort of making it perfect so yeah it's um a bit rough so what you can see here is how not to do it and how to fail in the worst way with these little details like the little, little thingies there on its head it's it's hard to get it in, in one piece of wire especially because i'm using this thick wire you can't just bend it completely like in, in, in like 90 degree angles, it's hard. So you get this ugly thing, like me here. And I was like, yeah, that looks like shit. So something that I can recommend if you have the same problem, if you use thick wire or you're just no as bad at this as I am, is to just cut the wire into all these tiny little pieces and then just, you know, put them together like that. It's much more easier. Much more easy, much more, much more easier. That doesn't sound right. Much more easy. Whatever. Anyway, I'm doing this in a lot of little pieces like this. And it worked much better for me. So now I have this bezel tape that's meant to... You, you're meant to put your bezel charms on there so the resin doesn't leak out. And I'm just basically using that to glue all these pieces of wire together or just to keep them in place. Because also, of course, uh, because the wire is completely flat, there are gaps and all that stuff and I want it all in the right place. So I'm just sticking it on there. And here I'm assembling all the little pieces. One thing that you can see that isn't ideal is that the parts where the wires meet, 
because when you cut pieces of wire, the ends of it aren't completely flush. They kind of have this little point at the end. And so it's hard to align them perfectly to make the, the transition between the wires look good. So something that I can also recommend, I didn't do it because I was lazy, but you can do it is to just kind of sand off the, the ends of the wire. You have to be careful, of course, because the end of the wire is very thin and you can like slip off and scratch your hand or something. But you can actually, like with a Dremel or even with just some sandpaper, you can sand off these ends and make it nice and flush if you want to, if you, if you want this to be perfect. And yeah, I'm moving on to Chimchar using this kind of champagne colored wire to shape the ears, sticking it on. Yeah, so actually Pokemon Diamond and Pearl were the first Pokemon games that I played because as a child I didn't have a Game Boy and the first console I got, handheld console, was a DS. So I actually started with Diamond and Pearl and I still haven't played the remakes. And I, now I don't have any money anymore because it's Christmas and I can't afford Pokemon. So yeah, I'm gonna play it eventually. And then I'm gonna shiny hunt in it and I think that's gonna be exciting. But here again with Chimchar, I'm cutting off a lot of small pieces for the hair. And then I'm moving on to Piplop. Here I have a nice, I don't know, 30 second montage of me doing this real quick because I don't think you want to see me bend some wire three times. Yeah, same process as all the other ones. Bending the wire, sticking it on the tape, cool stuff, exciting, struggling, struggling so much, struggling even more, struggling never stops. And I'm done! So then, now that I'm done, I can move on to the resin part. I recommend using UV resin because if you use epoxy resin, there's just a very high chance that during the long curing process, it's just gonna leak out at some point. But yeah, UV resin works really well with this. So I'm mixing up a nice green color for um, for the first Pokemon and I'm just filling it in. I'm doing a very thin first layer first. I just want to seal up all the gaps and just harden them first because the more you put in the higher the chances are of it leaking out because you know there's so much in it and it's pressing down on all of the edges and yeah. But so in my experience it works really well to just do a quick very thin first layer and then when you're done oh, look at me <laughs> idiot and then just fill it up with the second layer. And it's, it's looking nice. I wasn't so sure about the wire stuff, because yeah, wire is my mortal enemy. But when you fill it with resin, it just makes it look so much better, doesn't it? It's also just really fun filling this in. It's just good. It's satisfying. Love that. You can see up there I'm watching Nerdy Crafter. Fun. So then, after the green is cured, and I recommend curing, I recommend curing it in between each color to again minimize it leaking out. But then, when the green is cured, I mix up the next color, this kind of brownish color. And up here, because I use so many pieces of wire, there are more gaps. So I'm sealing off the gaps first before I'm filling it up. Now another problem is in the end, you can see a very light line on the bezel charm where the two tapes met. So it would be the best to have one big piece of tape. I didn't have that, so well, sucks to be me. Turtwig! Turtwig, that's the fucking Pokemon name. Jeez, I'm so bad at this. Oh, I've been a Pokemon fan for like 20 years. Uh-huh, sure, shut up, bitch. Yeah, I'm moving on to Chimchar. Remember that. Back when I played uh, Diamond and Pearl on the DS, I used Chimchar as a starter. Because back then, as a child, I was all about the fire starters. I mean, I still love the fire starters. They're cute as fuck. But now I, I'm, I'm more diverse. Yeah, I'm filling in the orange. And then I decided to mix more colors at once. And dropping the cup so fast that none of the resin spilled out. I was impressed. And then I decided to add some red to Chimchar's ears because I didn't want to have them leaner. 
So I'm mixing up all these colors, getting them ready. Another piece of advice when you work with UV resin, if you notice that your UV resin has a lot of bubbles in it, what you can do is just let it sit for like 10 minutes or so. Uh, and the bottle bubbles will rise and disappear. Just, you know, just wait a bit with the curing. That helps, that's what I did. <sighs> Usually I don't talk that much. I haven't talked at all today because I, I was working from home. So I was like totally silent and now I'm talking so much. It's exhausting. I'm not used to this. And yeah, now I'm moving on to Piplop, finishing it up, adding the yellow, the blue, the white, the other blue, fun stuff. So here you can't really see that, but this is like a, a, the transparent white that I'm adding. Yeah, this was fun. I want to do more of this in the future, but I also hate working with wires, so we'll see if I actually do it. So in the end, when they were all done, I added another clear layer of resin on top, just to kind of seal it all in. And because it wasn't completely smooth and flat, of course, with the wire kind of sticking out and stuff. So just adding a nice flush final layer just helps make it look even better. Just be careful not to add too much because then it might run off the edges and you don't want that. Unless you do want that. In which case, okay. Yeah, just add a nice layer. Look at it, it's so shiny and nice. This is just, I like this. I like just putting the UV resin on and being like, yes, yes. Here you can see I put too much and it flooded down and I was like, ah, shit, ah, fuck. But I, I saved it in the end. I just kind of wiped it away. And then the hardest part is peeling this tape off. Also, I can't recommend this tape. I've had the same problem when I did actual bezel charms that a bit of the blue is left over, as you can see. And yeah, this just this blue residue. You can get it off, I'll show you that in a second, but as you can see, it got progressively worse. It's all this residue. I don't know if I'm just peeling it off wrong or if it's just cheap tape. But what you can do, you can get this 100% alcohol. Actually, this is 99% alcohol. Drop it on your desk, that wasn't on purpose, and then use your minion dish towel to just wipe it off. Works really well. So I use this isopropanol 99%, I don't know why it's not 100%. What is the last 101%? I don't know. But yeah, look, it works really well and now it looks nice. With a pair of pliers, I'm just removing this excess, which is also pretty easy. You just have to be careful not to kind of snip off the wire. And then I'm adding eyes. I didn't want to do the actual eyes because that seemed like too much work and I was kind of done with this. So I just added these little dot eyes and I don't know, they're cute. They're kind of cute. And then what you want to do next with them is up to you. I decided to turn them into keychains. It might be a bit big for keychains, but they're hella cute, so like, whatever. And I'm just using my Dremel tool to draw some holes up in there. So I can add all the charms and things and stuffs, whatever they're called. Look at them holes, yeah, nice. And... I forgot... Oh, I forgot the name of the first one again. Turd wig! It's fucking turd wig, that little turd! wig uh okay so i chose a flower shaped keychain for turd wig because it's a plant starter i used the star one for chimchar because stars are probably burning like fire like chimchar and a heart for piplop because piplop is my favorite and i love him so yeah that's my reasoning i also had no other shapes that really fit so yeah it, it, it works it works I think they're really cute though, it adds a little something to have these like shaped keychains. So I'm just attaching the rings, dropping the bezel charms a hundred times, which made me slightly angry. I was like ready to throw them across the room, especially with Turtwig. I don't know, I love Turtwig, but somehow we don't get along. And yeah, I'm doing the same with Chimchar and with Piblop. And look at them, they look so cute. So here you go, that's how you make your own kind of uh, bezel charms. I added these white dots in the eyes because I thought maybe that would look cuter. I actually think I preferred it with the black. But anyway, yeah, these are really cute. Love doing that. And you can make them in any shape you want. Anyway, this was fun and yeah, if you try it, have fun. Okay, bye.
This is where I'd show you the finished battle charms if I knew where I put them. They're not bad. I expected myself to hate them more, but I'm kind of okay with them. So this is um, this one is a Pokemon that I know the name of, but I'm gonna let you guess that for yourself. You know, fun bonus quiz. And then there's. Turtwig! It's Turtwig! Oh my god! I'm so smart! Secondly, we got... Chimcha? But yeah, this is the, the second one. He's cute. Like the little star thingy on top. Yeah. And then, lastly, my favorite, which is when it's the heart. It's, um... Oh my god. Piplop! Piplop! It's Piplop. And this is how they turned out. It's nice, it's good, it's fun. They make a nice sound when they like clank together. It's annoying, probably. And yeah, so this is this was a fun video, right? If you like it, then you like it. That's cool. Anyway, thank you for watching. If you did, uh, thanks. It's nice of you. Um, I, I, I love you. And I will see you next time. So bye bye. Wait, that's not what I do. Okay, bye. They're over here, mate. Oh my god, I found them, I found them, I found them, I found them. Good news. Wait, no, I just found one. I found one. Oh, I found them. Ah!